15 signs of a good woman. In this video, I'd like to take a break from focusing on narcissists. Instead, we are going to discuss the signs of a good woman. This could be beneficial for men who are looking for good women and it could also help women to become the good woman that men are looking for. One, she dresses classy and elegant. She dresses stylishly and sophisticated rather than indecently rather than dressing like she's going to a nightclub. She doesn't dress like a prostitute. Instead, she covers her body. Her choice of clothing displays her self-respect. She doesn't spend an unreasonable amount of money on clothes. She's sensible. She focuses on the return on her investments. She looks for quality over quantity. She pays attention to detail. She takes care of her fingernails. She takes care of herself, but she's not doing it to get attention. She's not doing it to be better than anyone. These are the signs of a woman who is classy and elegant. Two, she doesn't disrespect you. She doesn't speak or behave rudely to you. She doesn't regard or treat you without respect. She doesn't insult you. She doesn't show contempt for you. She doesn't challenge you on everything. Every conversation doesn't become a debate. She doesn't always try to compete with you. She doesn't have to feel like she's better than you. When women do this, it can be very annoying. It can wear you out. But this is not something that good women do. A good woman will not constantly try to argue or disagree with you. A good woman will be on your side. She will support and assist you. She's not going to play mind games. She's not going to put you down. It's normal for people to have disagreements. But if she's disagreeing with everything you say, that is not a good woman. When you see a guy with these types of women, they always look like they've had the life sucked out of them. They look like they've been beaten down. Because they're with someone who is self-absorbed and lacks empathy. Someone who has no consideration for them. So you will see these guys with their heads down. They've lost all confidence in themselves. Because they've been overpowered by the woman they're with. But a good woman will not do that. She will not talk back at you. Three, she reads books. She goes to the library or orders books online. She's always reading something new. She's always trying to learn more. She wants to improve herself. Bad girls don't do that. They watch TV or read magazines. It's always something to do with gossip or drama. They follow whatever is trending. They're more interested in celebrities. But good women will read books. They're intellectual. They engage in critical thinking, research and reflection to advance discussions of academic subjects which means that they will be able to have a discussion with you. They will be able to hold a conversation. Four, she's hygienic. 
She keeps herself and her environment clean. She vacuums. She takes care of the place. She doesn't leave dirt or bits of food on the floor for long periods of time. Her place isn't dirty. Her clothes aren't all over her bedroom. There isn't hair everywhere. She keeps her place clean and tidy. Five, she gives you a massage without you having to ask. You don't even have to ask. You don't have to beg her for it. It's like she just intuitively knows when you might benefit from a massage. Maybe you've had a long day. Maybe you've just been to the gym or you've done a lot of driving. She will give you a massage without you having to ask. She will massage your neck and shoulders. She will massage your hand. And she won't just do it for a few seconds and then start complaining that her hand is hurting. If she is a high value woman, she will make the effort to give you a massage for at least 10 minutes. Six, she will cook for you without you having to ask. You don't have to ask. You don't have to beg. You don't even have to tell her that you're hungry. She will intuitively know when to cook for you. She will know when you want some food. And she will cook for you without holding it against you later down the line, without expecting something in return. Of course, this may make you want to do something in return, but she's not doing it because you want something. She's doing it because she cares about you. Seven, she doesn't use sex as a weapon. She doesn't use sex to hurt you or get something out of you. You don't have to do anything for her to have sex with you. She does it because she wants to, because she wants your validation rather than your money, rather than you having to do something for her. A good woman doesn't use sex as a weapon. Eight, she isn't always on her phone. She isn't always texting or making phone calls. She isn't always on social media. She isn't constantly looking down at her phone because she values her time with you. If you're taking time out of your day to spend time with a good woman, she is not going to spend that time looking at her phone they're not going to be offensively impolite or bad-mannered. They're going to consider you. They're going to pay attention to you. Nine, she doesn't hate her father. She doesn't criticize her father. She doesn't feel bitterness or indignation towards him. She doesn't resent him. She doesn't have daddy issues. Women who hate their fathers often hate men in general. They don't trust men. But good women grow up with their father in the home. They listen to their father. They didn't disrespect him. Which is why when you meet a good woman she will listen to you. She will respect you. But bad girls have bad fathers. Fathers who let them get away with things.
fathers who let them do whatever they want. Ten. She's not in a lot of debt. If you are planning on marrying her, her debt will affect you. You should avoid getting involved with women who are in debt because it will affect your financial future. Good women are good with money. They are responsible with debt. They live within their means. They don't buy things that they can't afford. They don't shop excessively. They are responsible with their money. Eleven. She hasn't had a lot of relationships or sexual partners. She didn't waste her youth sleeping with lots of men. Good women are responsible with their bodies. They are responsible with relationships. From a young age, they will be looking for someone to settle down with. Rather than trying to get attention from lots of men. They will be looking for someone to marry. They will be looking for someone to have children with. Bad women just have sex with anyone. They're in double digits. They've slept with so many men they've lost count. Good women don't do that. They want to save themselves for their future husband. Twelve. She doesn't have anything to hide from you. She can be open with you. She can be vulnerable with you. She doesn't have anything to hide. She doesn't hide her phone from you. She doesn't have any skeletons in her closet. She doesn't lie to you. She doesn't try to misrepresent facts or information. She can just be open and honest with you. Good women don't need to hide anything from you. Because they have nothing to hide. 13. She doesn't go to bars or clubs. Good women don't like bars or clubs. They don't like loud places. They don't like going to places where there are lots of people. A lot of good women don't even drink alcohol and they don't want to be around people who do. She's not going to want you to be wondering what's happening while she's at the bar or club. She doesn't need the attention from other men. All she needs is your validation. So she's going to spend time with you. 14. She's not high maintenance. She doesn't demand a lot of your attention. She doesn't always need to purchase expensive designer clothes. She doesn't buy expensive cars. She doesn't buy expensive bags. She doesn't buy things that she can't afford. Good women don't do that. They don't need to do all of that. They are naturally feminine. They naturally have qualities and an appearance traditionally associated with women. They are naturally attractive. They don't need fake hair or fake nails. They are naturally beautiful even without makeup. 15. She doesn't have a lot of followers on social media. Women who have a lot of followers on social media are usually desperate for attention. Most good women don't even use social media. 
bad women do use it and they will often have a lot of followers because they're always uploading half naked pictures of themselves they're always showing their bodies and that's how they have so many followers good women who do have social media don't tend to have many followers and even then it's just their family members or close friends so they won't have any random guys following them those are my 15 signs of a good woman I hope they have been helpful to you.